E hello YouTube and welcome back, my name is Zadarkos and today I'm going to give you my opinion on the Talon rework. So I tested it out once it came out, once the game patched and honestly I got a couple things to say about the rework about Talon and to keep it short I did enjoy it but I'll explain it with some footage in the background of me playing him. Now first things first. Talon is a hell of fun playing now and with the kit he has now, the way he works, I do believe that it does fit better the personality and what the champion is when it comes down to the lore. Assassin of the Shadows and now it fits better. Now also, in the end Talon does feel somewhat similar to the gameplay but a lot more dynamic and updated overall. First off, I wanted to talk about the passive. You know that his Q before the rework was basically an empowered auto attack that would um, make the target bleed and also apply the slow. Now, they changed this to his passive where every time you use an ability on a minion, on a champion or on a monster, you apply a stack and it goes up to three times and once you have the three stacks on the target if you do a basic attack the target will bleed for some damage and the damage does scale um 200 of your bonus attack damage which believe me can go pretty high up so when you burst in a target down you hit at least your ultimate W and Q with the auto attack after it, believe me, you are going to have some good amounts of burst. So therefore, his Q does not bleed anymore. It is in his passive, but you need to stack three times the ability stacks, as you can see, appearing under the enemy champion whenever I hit somebody with the ability. Now his Q changing uh, by a lot and honestly I think this is a key skill on what Talon is now and how you play it. Now basically you use your Q as a close gapper as well. Normally before the rework you would use your E to jump to the target and then use your Q to do the damage and make him bleed. Now your Q uh, is a close gapper as well. Talon leaps to a target dealing damage that scales 100% with your bonus attack damage, nothing insane, but first of all, this is great, you have the damage and the close gapper in only one ability, but it doesn't end here, because if you cast it within melee range, Talon does not leap because he doesn't need to, but instead he does critical strike the target for 150%, not the normal critical strike of 200, but still it does extra damage and normally you scale in pretty tremendously the AD on Talon, you're going to hurt him pretty badly. So this is the second point of his ability. The third point of this ability is that if you kill a unit with this ability, you're going to restore some HP, which is pretty awesome actually to help you sustain the lane and go for the trade and then just last hit some minions with this to get some HP back and you refound the cooldown of, of this ability for 50%. And there is the other point I want to take. This ability is pretty awesome and it has a pretty low cooldown here. Now at level 5 this ability has a cooldown of 5 seconds. With the typical talent builds, normally you can easily go between 20 to 40% CDR. So you'll be playing Talon with this ability at a 3 seconds cooldown. Imagine this in a fight. Um, basically, you go in with your ultimate, whatever, you do the Q to get a, as a close gapper. And after you wait a little bit if you want, you know, while you're in stealth with your ability. Once it comes back, once you get... Uh, into vision of the enemy, normally you have this ability already out of cooldown, giving you the ability to either use it as a close gapper to another enemy or just to deal that extra burst damage with the critical strike. So this ability here being a key to the Talon new gameplay and honestly I think it's awesome and has a lot to be said about. His W, it's basically the same thing, you know, you throw the blades out, the cone is changed, it is now 
longer, it has a higher range, but it is thinner, so it's not as wide as it used to be. As well, I prefer it like this, because honestly, I feel it's safer to poke enemies now and to get some last damage for the kill hits on targets that are running away, because honestly, uh, the old Talon you had to go to go way too close to the enemy to throw your W and most likely people will always predict that. Now it's a little bit harder, you have more range, I feel it's a lot better the way it works. Now my favorite ability, the Assassin's Path is E. You do parkour because we needed some Assassin's Creed flavor here in League of Legends. Now this ability basically does not have a cooldown, I mean it has a 2 seconds cooldown and honestly you don't even notice it. What does enter in cooldown is the terrain you do jump as you can see in the footage. Um, when I jump the terrain it gets lit red around it saying that I cannot use it again for a certain period of time that changes with the level of this ability. At first it is 160 seconds and at level 5 it's 1 minute cooldown. So this ability is really fun to use, it's insanely overpowered if you get the right opportunities and use it correctly. You can see me using it in the footage, first of all you saw me testing it, you see in testing it. Um, and you can see I'm letting it play a little bit, here's some moments that I use the ability to either get kills or to escape and it's really fun to use, but be careful, you do not jump the thickest terrain, you'll just leap, you know, to the edge and you don't really get to the other side, so gotta be careful with that. His ultimate is basically the same thing, more or less, you can now redirect the blades to the targets. Uh, that Talon first attacked with a basic attack, but it's basically the same. Now overall, I think Riot did a really good job here reworking Talon, it gave him more personality, a lot more flavor, it feels more recent, more updated, uh, comparing to the new champions that have been released with a lot more dynamic and fun to play skills, Talon is now I mean, it, it, he may become one of my favorite champions now, so I gotta be looking out for Ari, because honestly this feels different. And I honestly enjoyed playing Talon, and I'm pretty sure you'll see more of me playing him in the channel. Now, let me know what you think about the Talon rework, do you think Riot did a good job with this? Uh, I honestly did, but I would love to know what you do think about it. So, you know, my name has been Zadarkos, remember to leave those comments so I can read them. And of course, give it a like if you did enjoy the video, share it with your friends, it helps me out a lot and they may join our little conversation. Also, subscribe if you are not to see more content like this and a lot more. Stay awesome and I'll be seeing you pretty soon with a new one. Bye-bye.